What's up guys? I'm back working on this Jeep and today we're going to do a hood decal. Um, I, I've been wanting to do an American flag hood decal for a little while. I think I mentioned it in a couple of other videos. But I wasn't sure how to go about it. This paint on this hood is terrible and it's going to have to be replaced soon. So I wasn't sure about that, what I was going to do with it. But, I've just, uh, but when I was at Jeep Beach Jam, uh, I went by a tent that had some nice decals and uh, I went in and bought one. Because they have kind of what I wanted. Now I want it very understated, and I got the ultimate understated. I got a uh, matte black on my gloss black hood, which you're not going to be able to hardly see at all, which is perfect. The only other color I would have even suggested would be a, a charcoal gray or a dark gray, uh, but they didn't have that color. And so I went ahead and bought the matte black one. We'll put it on. It was fairly cheap. That was one of the few deals down there. If it doesn't look good, I'll just take it right back off. It's just a vinyl decal. Uh, it's from uh, Alpha Vinyl. I haven't really looked at them online. They were a vendor down there, so I bought something from them. And uh, it came with a little applicator. It came with some uh, spray and an X-Acto knife. came with the decal and the directions. Uh, this will be a wet install because it's a big decal. The first thing you have to do when putting a hood decal on is get the hood prepped for it, which is basically means clean the hood. And then I've got to take all the little hood accessories off, which means these two stoppers, uh, the strap um, clevis right here, and then the two little uh, windshield washer squirters so this is pretty easy these just pull out they're just a piece of rubber that pulls out of these holes and then i'll clean that up so those are gone this is just two small nuts on the on the back side so i'll flip the hood up and i'll get that off and then these uh, little squirters should just pop out they should just be in there with little barbs let me get the hood prepped and then we'll come back and we'll see how hard this thing is to install Guys, you can see what I'm talking about. Here's the little nuts that hold that clevis on, and then here's the little barbs that hold these on. So I'll pull. I did get the uh, the little squirters out, and like I said, you just pull the hose off the backside, and then it has these little barbs, if you can see them, that you just push in on each side right there, and then that just pops right out. We're gonna try to do this between rain showers, and that is Probably a stupid thing to do on my part, but hey, what are you gonna be if not stupid? Guys, tell me your opinion. I kind of like the flat look, and we'll take a look at it uh, later on. I'll pull the camera off and take a look at it. I kind of like it with all the stuff on the hood. Obviously, the uh, window squirters I'll need. Always a loud plane. Um, but I don't really put my windshield down, so I don't really need the strap or the bumpers. Uh, we'll see what it looks like after I get the little flag on there. All right, guys, they, they have some application fluid. Uh, soapy water also works. It's kind of like putting on window tint if you've ever put on window tint. First thing we're going to do, make sure the contact area doesn't have a dry spot. Dry spots are your enemy. You want this decal to kind of float on top of the applicator so you can move it around in places without it sticking. All I'm doing is pulling this backing off a little bit at a time, slowly. These stars are gonna be a little bit uncooperative already, I can tell. Yep, stars are uncooperative, guys. All these stars want to stick to the backing instead of the contact paper. Good thing it's a distressed flag. If I tear up one of these stars, it'll just kind of go along with the distressed look. Kind of a poor design. I don't know how else you would do it, but this way isn't preferable. So once you have it on, then you just start squeegeeing out any bubbles with their squeegee they give you. Start from the center and work out with the with the vinyl with the felt side. All we're doing is just working out air bubbles. Anyone who's ever applied even a sticker knows what that's about. Those little stars were a lot more difficult than uh, they needed to be. That's the only complaint so far. 
this is where you have to take time. So I'm not gonna talk anymore and we're gonna fast forward through this. All right guys, it squeezed out good enough and now I'm gonna cover it up because there might be a shower or two coming, no, no real hard rain. So I'm gonna cover it up with a old uh, bikini top I have. You do what you gotta do. I wasn't gonna have time, it's supposed to rain all week. All right, we're gonna pull this backing off. Hopefully this works guys, cross your fingers. Ooh, it's coming off pretty easily. Just want to make sure you don't lift up the decals and you have your squeegee to push it down. Squeegee out the uh, bubbles. Get all the water out from under the decal so the glue can cure. Like I said, if you have to lift one up, you can. Just be careful. So there it is guys, I think it looks great. Uh, I'm, I'm pretty happy with it. Uh, there was a few things that I did wrong, nothing really that has to do with the, the decal itself. Tell me what y'all think. I did not put the rubber stoppers back on for the hood to lay down and I didn't put the, the hood hoop to lay back down. Now we'll have to wax, you can probably see the little circles here uh, where the hood hoop, uh, strap hoop went in. I'll probably have to wax that and, uh, and get that nice and shiny, but I like the smooth look of that hood without those bumpers, especially from, from kind of further back. The only thing I will complain about a little bit is these stars, they're all individual. And so they uh, they were a little bit more difficult when I rolled out the, uh, the decal. So that was a little bit tough. The hood has a lot of imperfections, including a lot of chips and, and places. There are some places that look like air bubbles, but they're not air bubbles. Uh, they're just imperfections in the hood underneath the, the decal. There's also some places that I, that I had to cut little corners of the decal, like this little corner right here. I didn't have to cut that one, but the corners didn't quite stick. And so I just took an X-Acto knife and cut the corner off and, uh, and that worked well to keep anything from unraveling. All in all, it is very understated, but hopefully this comes, up, comes through on camera. You can still see it and I really like it. I'm glad I went that route. The only other color I would have uh, liked to do would be a dark, dark gray and they didn't make it. I'm happy. Tell me what y'all think, guys. That's pretty much exactly what I wanted. Let me know about the uh, smooth hood. And then one more thing. I've got two more decals here, and I'm going to put at least one of them on. I've got the, uh, the flag with the uh, cross guns and Punisher skull uh, with Molon Labe there. And then I got a Don't Tread on Me decal, both in, in gray, which is the same color as this, this gray. Uh, so I'm going to put those somewhere. I'm thinking about the, the potential places are uh, right here, either for this or for this on the driver or passenger. Or here, driver or passenger. Or here, you can see my Jeep is really dirty. And uh, that's where I took the decal for the Jeep Beach Jam off. Or maybe right here for either, either the Shield or this one. Let me know what you think. Guys, Thanks. thank you for watching the video. I will have some more videos out soon, so uh, subscribe if you do like the video, if you found it informational at all, and uh, let me know what else you'd like to see. Some things on the horizon, uh, I'm supposed to be going to pick up an 8.8 .8 rear end to start building. I'm supposed to do that uh, next weekend, so we'll see if that falls through or not, hopefully not. I'm going to start building the suspension. 
Guys, thanks for everything and have a great day.